when we talk about sharing pages and workspaces, right? So the pages we just talked about, just like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, using the same configuration for ODB or SharePoint site. So I'll be able to show you, this is the same share dialog, um, that you would see if you chose to share a Word file and you pick external users and you can create a link that you can share. Um, we do have another treatment of this um, share dialog that will actually send the mail. Um, in this one, you actually get a link and you have to paste it either into a, a chat or some message to them, but we do have uh, a version that actually sends the mail like Word, Excel, PowerPoint but that's sharing pages and then sharing workspaces just like um, you invited members before that were in your tenant you can add um, the alias of the guest user and then click invite and they will get the you've been looped in mail um, the only difference is when we send that mail to guest it has a tenant id on there and, and you can see that um, so that when they sign in, we know which tenant they're signing in. Uh, for example, if I emailed Derek Liddell at hotmail.com and I didn't have that tenant ID, I would sign in as an MSA. So the only difference is um, that you've been looped in mail um, includes the tenant ID. So with that, let me come in and start uh, kind of showing you how this all works. So what you see here is uh, I'm logged in um, to my test tenant um, and I am a real member. Uh, this is Derek Liddell, uh, the real AAD user, and I have a workspace. I actually have a few workspaces, uh, but in this case, I'm in the hot air balloons um, workspace. And so kind of what I wanna demo first is, hey, if I have a page here, and if somebody could do me a favor, I'm going to bring back up Teams. Put your email address, uh, uh, email address of an external guest. I don't know, Daryl, if you have one, and I can kind of demo what that is. If somebody can give me one. Boom. Thank you, Amelia. All right. So I'm copying. So now what you need to do when you're sharing pages is you need to uh, I'll show you that again. If you click the settings link, you will get the option for people you choose. And so, oh, I didn't get Amelia's address. Hold on. Copy. Copy. All right, here it goes. So, what you'll see here is this message. Amelia is outside of your organization. Great. So, I'm going to copy that link and like i said we have a version of this dialog which will actually send an email um, directly to amelia um, but amelia i'm going to paste this link back in uh, for you and only you will be able to log in um, to that and what will happen is if you invite a user where this account does not have an aad this account does not belong to an MSA, Amelia will be sent an eight digit passcode, which we call passwordless login that I'm sure you all have used in other apps. And that means that Amelia can log into my tenant and then we'll send her email an eight digit passcode and the uh, login prompt will say, okay, where's your eight digit passcode? And then she will get in um, to the page. Um, now, if I sent that to a Hotmail address, the login system is smart enough to know that, oh, this Derek Liddell at Hotmail is logging into this tenant, but he already has an MSA, so let's just have him give his password, boom. And then if I were to invite Derek Liddell at Microsoft.com, it knows that I'm logging into another tenant. It asked me, do I want to switch tenants? And then it allows me to use my tenant password to log in to another tenant. And so the system is smart enough to know if the user has an MSA or an AAD, allow them to use that login credential. And if not, I will send them uh, an eight digit passcode. So that is um, sharing pages. Now, to really 
jumpstart collaboration, we talk about sharing workspaces, right? And so if I go here, um, you'll see I can come here and add guests. Same way, I can add a Hotmail. Now, in this case, he's already in the workspace. Or I can add an, uh, an AAD user. So in this case, you just add those users and you click Invite. And what I will show you is, uh, in this case, I'm logged in as loop80231 um, at hotmail.com. Um, and if we were able to inspect um, this link, fortunately, I don't think they're going to give us the, there you'll see it. You'll see right at the end, we have this parameter, which is tenant ID. That is what tells the loop login page that, hey, this user's actually got a login uh, link to log into another tenant. Um, and so that's how we know, you know, to log you into this tenant uh, when, when you click that link. Um, but once that user logs in, they are able to see their workspaces uh, that they're in. They're able to, They're able to collaborate. If I go back to my first window, right? I now come back and I see, oh, my tenant, and there's his cursor. Who is this? This is Derek. Um, go back. Why am I not seeing his presence? Uh, we should see two people in this document. Let's make sure. I'm logged in as loop80231. All right, let's refresh this. Let's see something. There should be attribution on this. Yeah, I'm looking for it to tell you that there's two people uh, in this document. So um, I'll have to figure out what's going on there. But in this case, I am logged in as loop80231. I'm collaborating in this document. Um, and to prove it to myself, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna log in again. Bear with me, just so you all can see this. Um, I'm gonna close this other window. Give me a real, well, this is a live demo, because I just wanna make sure that you all are seeing what I expect you to see. Okay, so we're logged in there, and I'm going to go to Chrome this time. Chrome, uh, new, give me a second to get a new incognito window, and let me bring it over here, and I'm going to go back to mail.com. And I'm going to log in as loop80231 at mail.com. Log in. And with this one, you'll actually get to see the eight digit passcode. So it's actually a pretty good demo. So good. I've been looped in here. I'm going to click on this. You'll actually get to see the flow. So it's redirecting me, it's got a safe link. Um, I'm going to get redirected, and it's going to ask me to sign in, so I'm loop80231 at mail.com, and it sent me a passcode. Let me refresh this. So this is what I'm saying that, hey, this account doesn't have an MSA, it's not an AAD user, um, so then I got to come back to this screen, paste in my passcode. And then boom, I'm in the workspace. And now if I go back to that original window, 
Let me refresh. Yeah. So now you see there's multiple people in this page. There's Derek Liddell and there's Loop 80231. So that just highlights, just wanted to make sure that you all could see that, yep, two people actually um, made it in the workspace. So with that, that kind of shows how easy it is to share a page. I just go to my page link, um, choose the people, the people, um, the people you choose option and just put their email address in there. And with this, this can be any new user, even if they're not in your tenant. Um, when you share the workspace, though, um, and you'll see we don't allow guests to share workspaces because just because you allow Derek into your tenant doesn't mean you want Derek to invite all of his cousins um, into your tenant. So sharing of the workspace is only available for full members in the company. Um, we don't allow you to invite other guests if you're only a guest in there. But once you do have the guest in your tenant, you can go ahead uh, and invite them um, to a workspace.